Welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Jonathan Kaplan. I'm here to talk about my biggest failure, Mr. Billion, which I directed and co-wrote. The trailer for Mr. Billion I don't think was ever actually cut, or at least it was never shown. I never saw it. Uh, the only material that exists is a very short teaser, uh, which I don't even know if that ever was shown anywhere. But anyway, I'm going to talk a little bit about the picture on camera uh, because the trailer or teaser or whatever it is is so short. I was uh, 29. I had just made a picture called White Line Fever, which was a big hit for Columbia Pictures. Uh, I was being offered a lot of things, and you can see how smart I am. I chose Mr. Billion. Uh, Mr. Billion was uh, the idea of Dino De Laurentiis uh, to, to make a film that would introduced Terence Hill to the English-speaking world. Terence Hill was part of a team, Terence Hill and Bud Spencer, and together they were the fifth highest grossing actor in the world. The problem was that Mr. Billion didn't include Bud Spencer, and sort of, it was sort of like, let's hire Laurel and Hardy and forget about Hardy. Uh, anyway, that was just the first problem. The casting was very difficult because Dino had his needs, Fox had their needs, and basically Nobody wanted to listen to what my needs were. Uh, at one point, we had Lily Tomlin interested in playing opposite Terrence, and that would have been wonderful. Uh, but as it turned out, uh, the studio insisted that we try to get Valerie Perrine in the picture, coming off of her Academy Award-nominated wonderful performance, and Lenny. So Valerie Perrine was hired, then Jackie Gleason was hired, and I, I couldn't say no to Jackie Gleason because I'm a huge Jackie Gleason fan. My first day of shooting with Jackie Gleason in Italy, no one knew who Jackie Gleason was. So he was kind of grumpy because he was not being paid attention to. So about halfway through the day, he pulls me aside. He says, come here, come here, come here. I want to talk to you. Just a minute, just a minute, kid. I just want to talk to you. Man. I said, yeah. He says, listen, I got, I got news for you. The kid is a lox. The picture's a bomb. But I'm going to give it everything I got. <laughs> Valerie Perrine and Terence Hill did not exactly have screen chemistry. Terence is a sweet, lovely man, and his English was halting at best. He was very kind of formal in how he presented himself. Valerie, on the other hand, introduced herself by asking if one wanted to see her smoke a cigarette with her private parts, and it went downhill from there. I think the picture is better than its reputation. It was complete disaster commercially, but I don't think the studio had any intention of doing much with it. Getting to work with Gleason was worth it because he was the most amazing guy and just sitting and talking to him. He was so warm and, and so funny and so insightful and so bright. And when he was sober, he was just the greatest guy in the world to work with. Unfortunately, when his wife wasn't around, he would drink about six bottles of champagne a day. Don Perignon, no, Don Perignon. He really was more Reggie Van Gleeson than uh, Ralph Cramden. So I would get him on the set and he'd be, I'd think, how on earth is he going to do his lines? He can barely walk. And I found early on that if I started doing honeymooners routines with him, he would sober up. He would just snap right too. And of course the American crew adored him. So. I'd say, oh, great chef of the future, are you ready to do your lines? And he'd go, hamana, 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 hamana. And the crew would crack up, and he'd be just right there. And you, you, it looked like he hadn't had a drink. And it was the most amazing thing. All he needed to do was just be sort of reminded of past glory and get a laugh. If he got a laugh, he just loved laughter, loved to get laughter. Obviously, he's a comic. And it was a wonderful experience. I would have to say that for all the misery that I had to put up with on that picture, that it was worth it to, to be able to work with Jackie Gleason. They call me Mr. Bill.